Basketball! Right, welcome back to Good Morning Let's Basketball. Today, we're finally in person. Our first ever episode. Being back with the boys in person. How do you guys like the setup, man? This is very different from the Zoom. I believe <laughs> yeah. this is the first podcast. This is the first podcast where the four of us are actually together. Yeah. Rather than it being Zoom. We've done the live streams in the past, like watching the game. So, this is cool. I don't want to get too used to it because we're not going to get too many opportunities like this. Over yeah. the course, you know, life takes us all different places. Yeah. But this yeah. is cool. I'm we'll get there. Really hey, cool. when we get our own studio, we're going to remember where we came from. Yes, yeah. sir. We're going to remember where we we're came from. We're just missing from. the Ben Simmons cut out in the back right now. <laughs> yeah. <I'm just> <laughs> we apologize <laughs> for that, fan. But and the Grant time, Williams. I, the Grant I wish Williams. I, would have thought, I wish I would have thought of that because I have a Michael the Jordan. Michael Jordan one. Yeah, the yeah. Michael Jordan one. That's oh, six foot. I just yeah. tape Ben Simmons' face on it. That would have been funny. Yeah, that would be a fire, bro. But we're going to get right into the episode. And as recent news came out, as a Chicago Bulls fan, as some of us are, some of us aren't, um, uh, three teams sign and trade with the Kings. They received DeMar DeRozan, the Spurs got Harrison Barnes, and the Bulls received Chris Duarte and two second-round picks. And honestly, thank you, DeMar DeRozan. You know, he played some great years in Chicago, and I loved having him as a Chicago Bull. How do you guys feel about this uh, trade that went around? So we kind of know what the Chicago Bulls are aiming to do here. After they traded Caruso for Josh Giddey, it still wasn't clear if they were trying to tank or not because the Bulls' idea of win now and the players they have to do so is very different from actual championship teams. They might think that. So I thought, like, with trading for Josh Giddey, I was like, maybe they see Giddey and Levine and Vucevic being an insane big three, which obviously is not. So I was <laughs> I would, like, I would I was, hope not. Yeah, I was like, so I was like, what's the next move going to be? Who are they moving next? Yeah, yeah. DeRozan, he had those... Uh, teams that he was rumored to go to, there was Clippers, there was Lakers. I had no, I, I did not anticipate him going to Sacramento, so it really caught me off guard. But what do I think about it? I mean, the Bulls managed to get fleeced twice <laughs> yeah. in a two-week free agency. <laughs> they didn't even get a first-round pick in this trade. The Spurs got it. <laughs> That's we got insane. two second-rounders, Chris Duarte, <laughs> really sick. And they didn't even get a first-round pick. They got two second-rounders. San Antonio got the first-round pick. San Antonio won this trade. Terrison yeah. and first-round pick. Yeah. I just don't understand why the Spurs were involved at all. It just didn't make sense. And for the Bulls, what they had to get like rid of DeRozan, I thought they were going to get at least something decent in return. They didn't, really. Like I, I think Chris Duarte could have potential. I'm not hating on him yet. Um, but just like for what DeMar DeRozan has been in this league, I just did not expect this return at all. I know they messed up not trading him um, earlier in the season. That was a big complaint from Bulls fans Definitely. and the organization not doing that. I, I just don't get it. My question for you guys is, is, is Chris Duarte the oldest young guy in the league? Because he's only been in the league like, what, three, four years, something like that? And he's already 27, going uh, on 28. Yeah, he was, a, he was a late bloomer. But he's like one of that guy. He's like one of those players I feel like he hasn't gotten his like chance yet. When he yeah. got to the Pacers, they were so big on him. Dude, and I know. Like, I was big on him when he was on the Pacers. Yeah, like the very like limited Pacers fans that are out there. I, I'm still not convinced Pacers fan exists. But like they still like they talked this guy up and I like had never seen him play before. And I was like, this guy might be nice. Yeah. And I was in Chicago, so I hope he is. Yeah, I, I hope he's good, man. And then another thing with the Bulls too is they're wanting to trade uh Zach Levine too and with the the Mar the Rosen trade, they got those two second round picks that were they, that they were hoping to add to the trade with Zach Levine and there's still little to no interest with with that involved. And it's frustrating because who knows what we're gonna get for Levine considering what we got for DeRozan. Maybe penny chip and a used napkin is what we'll get for Levine. <laughs> 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 you know? Bro, did you, did you well, write that joke down? Or did you come no, up with I see it in his notes. <laughs> yeah, but, but, definitely no. wrote that down but that was still it's, fire. It's so un- <laughs> It's it's so unfortunate as like a Bulls fan because I think Kevin and I have talked about this like repeatedly over the year of how like Zach Levine's trade value was just diminishing over time yeah. like so much injuries didn't help either yeah but now it's just it's in the gutter. How do we feel straight up Zach Levine for Tobias Harris? <laughs> I don't remember Imagine how much a thank you Detroit post from Tobias. Harris. <laughs> I don't remember how much uh, Tobias got paid by Detroit. I know it was a decent amount. We know how much he got paid by Philly, too much. But with um I remember when free agency first started, we talked about it a few episodes ago about how like the Bulls like looked around like 15 different trade scenarios about what like what like could potentially happen. 
Mm-hmm. I don't think those were actually liable. I think those were all like no's, and they're just trying to get anything they possibly could for Zach Levine. I um, mean, the Rosen's out. Who knows where, what's going to happen with Vuce? They'll probably re-sign him like a five-year max extension, just knowing <laughs> Chicago and how they are. Yeah, and then but, maybe Lonzo will come back too. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but the, the Bulls just have so many guards now. Levine, Kobe White, Josh Giddy. Io and now Chris Duarte. That's a lot. It's five guards. I'm missing someone. Dale and Terry. Oh, he's yeah. a guard. Dude, I, I, did you say Io? I forgot I that guy's yeah, on said the Io. team, bro. That's six guards. <laughs> we have no wings. Resigned Pat Williams. Me and you were talking on the phone about that yeah. last night. Good. Idiot. I, I kind of I I like the resign. I mean, he was a fr- he no, was a restricted. I, I li- I, yeah, yeah. I, I completely forgot about that too. Restricted free agent. I like the paw. Fire, but man, you know he does not want to come back to Chicago. <laughs> yeah, There's but, nothing. For well, him you know, there. like the history of Chicago players, you know, as soon as he left, he was gonna pop off. So yeah, by, by re-signing, he honestly just limited his ceiling. Yeah, <laughs> like, because like, really? like he would have went to like a contender next year if he was able to, like being an unrestricted free agent, and he would have just had an insane jump, and it just would have been history repeating itself all over again with Larry Markin and leaving. Bobby Portis winning a ring. Wendell Carter Jr. is going Wendell, off yeah. now. Campaign found his way like some <laughs> success with Phoenix. Dude, it's, that, it's a never-ending cycle. Was that the Bulls or the Thunder that said campaign like is not an NBA player? The Bulls. That was the Bulls. The Bulls got it. Man. The Bulls got it. <laughs> Dude, every time, bro. It was the Bulls. I got. I'm making a video on that. Next video yeah. coming out. You already here first. Why every Bulls player that gets traded. Ends up being really good. You're gonna after have an, their ten. You're gonna have so much evidence. You're gonna have to like leave some stuff out because the video is gonna be so long. It's gonna be an hour long. Yeah. Marcus Aldridge, Jamal Crawford. But, dude, it just makes me mad because like you know they say comparisons a thief of joy, but it's like hard not looking at other like teams and organizations and being like, why can't the Bulls do that? Yeah. And I was talking to Kevin yesterday when we were on the phone, and I was like, do you think the Bulls? Besides, like, the Pistons, like, obviously they've had a terrible last five years. But do you think in the last five years the Bulls have had one of the, like, worst, like, in the in the NBA? No. Just, like... Like, front offices and free agencies? Front office, free agencies, like, the team performance, everything. Like, besides the fans showing up to the games, like, I feel like it's it's bottom five. After Paxson, after Paxson, I don't think it was bad. I mean... Well, the team they brought in, yeah, the it's team. no more. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I mean, but like they, was, they were they had their first, runs. they were yeah. first for yeah. a little yeah. bit for the like, half of the season. That was the greatest time of my life. The Bulls <laughs> were so fun to watch, yeah. but those days are gone. That's what so, I'm saying. Like, I mean, bottom I, five. I feel like yeah, you could say that. Right, the se- the off season they're having right now, it it might be the worst other than Atlanta. Yeah, I don't and even like Bucellus, like bro. <laughs> I do. I'm. No, I, I actually I, really I, like him. I like really? Matis. I think he's gonna be cool. I mean, he might struggle. Like every rookie has their struggles, of course. But he could be nice, you know. He's a wing player, and that's what we needed. True. He can't shoot, though. His numbers took a big dip <laughs> uh, when he was in the G League compared to his past. But I mean, he could bounce back, though. He could bounce back. Of course. I, don't know. Of course you know. I, I feel like he has a lot of potentials. And I remember looking at 2023 draft projections. He was supposed to be number one. I do then, remember that. Yeah. He went off in the... Um, the tournament all star, the all star tournament, the McDonald's All American. No, 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 the all star game. What do they call that? The Rising Stars, the oh, G League yeah. team that won. He hit that game winner. Oh, right? that was yeah, him. yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's all I know, bro, for because yeah. I ain't watching no G League Ignite games. But, but. yeah, I think he had, that, <laughs> he had that injury too, right? Yeah, he had the ankle injury. Yeah. So I don't know. I think he has a ton of potential. I'm glad the Bulls got him. Um, I haven't bought a Bulls jersey in a long time, but if I had to buy one, it'd be either him or Kobe White. So Buzelis right out the gate yeah. is crazy, bro. <laughs> I'll definitely lock in Kobe White for his because I've been waiting for him to bloom for so long. Yeah, so I know someone yeah. with a uh, Paul Zipser jersey. Wow, let's get a Walt Lemon Jr. If you pulled up with a Walt Lemon Jr. jersey, bro, <laughs> not pull up a Antonio Blakeney number nine. <laughs> not many people know Cameron what that, Barristow, what that is. but. Bulls have been making their moves, you know, and they're doing something. Yeah, you know, we mm-hmm. wanted them to do something. This isn't exactly what I had in mind, but they're doing something. Sure. It's they they weren't winning next year, so it is what it is. But what Barnes you, to San Antonio, does this? So he's not going to help them with so much with wins and losses, but I feel like it's kind of deeper than that with what he can help them with, because they have a lot of young wings on the team and guards that I feel like he can really mentor and show them how to be patient and find your shot. Because watching Spurs games last year, their guards such as uh, 
heck's his name? Devin Vassell, Vassell yeah. Jones. Yeah. Vassell, yeah. just all those guys. Keldon Johnson, especially. Those guys, like, they had no chains on them, man. They <laughs> did whatever they wanted. <laughs> it, it was really bad to watch their shot selection, so I'm hoping, like, a seasoned veteran that's an NBA champion can really just yeah. help them out with that. You know, but, he's, he's not that old either. Only he's 31. Really not. He's, he's really only 31. Not. Yeah, and it he seems was, like he's been in the league for 20 years. Yeah, bro. He, he was like 22. He was like our age when he won the NBA Finals with the Golden State Warriors Damn. that first year. Damn. For like, real? Like, what was that, 2014, and he was 2015? he 15. Yeah. 2015. It's actually crazy, wow. bro. Yeah. Wow. No, yeah, um, he was – he could be good for them, I think. Can I drop a bomb real quick? I heard someone call Mason Plumley. <laughs> the Hakeem Olajuwon of Cristiano Felicios. <laughs> like, I just wanted to point that out. I wanted to say when we were talking about the Bulls, but I didn't get to it. So those, <laughs> Dude, those are hilarious. Those like comparisons are so funny, bro. Like I remember, I got stuck in like a Twitter thread of like a hundred of them. It was like everyone drop your best, I'll give it a start, and then it was like Patrick Beverly is like the LeBron James. Or he's, uh, they said, like, Patrick Beverly is, like, the Cristiano Felicios of Drew Holidays. <laughs> and, and I was like, wow. And then there was just Wait, a thousand. Funny, that yeah, there was, like, a thousand tweets <laughs> of just people just giving theirs. I literally scrolled through, like, most of them. They were so funny. Yeah, bro, I was, I had to, I had to say that one, bro, because that, that had me cracking up when I saw it. No, those are hilarious. But yeah, Barnes, solid. Solid pickup. Um, it's going to be good. Good for the young guys. I still don't. Obviously, that move doesn't move the needle. But exactly. Like, yeah. give him, give him five years. Yeah, and just having like Chris Paul there too. I mean, how much longer does Chris Paul really have? But Probably next year is it. Wemby, Wemby has a point guard that can get him the ball. Yeah. I don't know, bro. Chris Paul took that Thunder team to the playoffs. Dude, Dude that's I true. Commented that? Yes. I commented that, yes. bro. That on, team was on a garbage. YouTube video. <laughs> that he was on. on the burner. I was like, bro, Chris Paul's gonna take the Spurs to the playoffs, bro. At I got eight. so much hate. I got so much Yo, hate I don't for even, saying that. I don't even think that's a horrible thing to say because I believe it, bro. Depending I mean, on the jump that Wemby has yeah, in his yeah. second year, we know the kid can play. He's not a yeah. bust by any means. So he might have a crazy jump, dude, with having a point guard too. Did you guys see that clip today that came out in the practice? Evan Fournier did that move on him. Wemby yeah. touched the floor, recovered, and blocked the shot. It was <laughs> goaltending, but in FIBA rules, it's not goaltending. Yeah, it was he, still crazy. He, he recovered. He like jump and spun and like Jesus blocks. It. It Wait, like... Well, yeah. Wait, you can goaltend in in USA ball, right? Or you can so, knock it off the rim on a, like a free throw. Can you yeah, do that in it, US in Olympic ball? In, yeah, in Olympic. Because I know all, you can do it all in international theater. basketball. So basically, if you're not playing in America, if the ball is bouncing around the rim, yeah, you, you can just slap it, it off. There's no defensive three seconds either. Hmm. Okay, wait. So Dude. then it was goaltending then, still, right? Or no? No, because you could tip it off. So it was. But it was the, on a way oh, down. It, it yeah. A, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think yeah, it you're was. Right, you're right. Maybe it was. Was it on the way down? I don't really remember. It was on I the way seen down. The clip, so if it's on the way down, yeah. that's still okay. Still goaltending. Regardless, uh, was still impresses. Yeah. yeah. It was still impressive. Excuse me. Bro's averaging a quadruple double next year. <laughs> yeah. Keeps this Dude, up. I gotta see this clip, bro. I think he might get a few quadruple doubles Dude, next year. What team does Fournier play restriction. for? He, it's on the exactly. international France team. Oh, it was like a practice. Yeah, it, oh, it was okay. a scrimmage. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah and right. it was, they were just like... I'll watch it after. But... Shooting around and stuff. But yeah, San Antonio Spurs, man, they could... Um, they're in a I, really good spot. They're heading in the right direction. Dude, the Devin Vassell, bro, that's Daniel's guy. No, I, I wasn't even going <laughs> to say that. Guy. I was probably... Can, future. Can, uh, there's going to be a lot of eyes on Devin Vassell next year. I, yeah, I just... I, I don't know. What I was kind of getting at was just that the Spurs, I feel like, are in such a good position because their future is probably the most promising any franchise has seen in, since LeBron, maybe. Maybe Zion with the Pelicans, too. Because they have one prospect. Yeah. but Not just because. No, yeah, but their future is just insanely promising. They've got draft picks, and they've also got uh, the veteran presence there now, so it's, I don't know. Yeah, Spurs to win it all next year might not be the all might not team, be the wrong bet. If Wemby does that, if Wemby does that, <laughs> oh, that's a first terrible year. bet. <laughs> that's a horrible bet. Yeah, but, but nah, I, I get what you mean. Maybe but. playoffs. But. All time, all t- all the Spurs really needed right now was vets, and they I, got two of two really good ones. So exactly, uh, you're right. They're definitely in a good spot. I just feel like we definitely have not seen the peak of Wemby. Oh, like, no, it, it, that, and that's what, that's my yeah. point. That's what I'm saying. Like, what if he comes out next year and just is exactly what we think he's gonna be? Dude, no, give him five years. It's gonna be insane. That's a yeah, lot. It's a lot of time. Dude, he needs to be play. 24. 
Yeah. A little, uh, <laughs> little off topic, but who do you guys have, like, as an early, like, rookie of the year, like, with this current draft class? You know, Zach Eadie's the favorite. Dude, I was Zachary I saw that's Shea's, why I like, wanted to say favorite. that. <laughs> I've never, I saw I've never seen a favorite. number one pick get so like not so much love like bro like they don't even care that he was the number one pick bro i just i don't even i've never heard of the guy the hornets drafted i know not to get too deep on the draft but like bro that guy is like i don't know i don't know who who that guy who did they take again i can't remember i don't even know his name it's something like french like I don't know. I've heard bad things about him, but I, I honestly, I, I really could not tell you. Zach Eady, rookie of the year. How are we feeling? Not a bad he, had, he had like a twelve and fifteen game in like <laughs> yeah. one of the summer league games. He fouled out, and after that game, he emerged as the favorite to <laughs> oh, win wow. uh, of the year. one summer league game. Yeah, dude. People, a lot of people were hating too. So, like, I'm glad to see he's doing good. I think he'll fit right in. I think he got drafted to a pretty good situation. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Sense. They needed a center. Yeah, true, that's and someone who could just hit. Illegal ball screens. <laughs> just take people out pretty exactly. much. Exactly. Yeah. I want to point out that I did say he was going to be a lottery pick. You did say that. You I know what? I did say that. If I had flowers, bro, I'd give them. Yeah, I'd give you your flowers. <laughs> top 10 picks. No, bro, no, you were right. No one believed me. But, like, so, I just knew that because, I, I don't know, especially with uh, what happened with TJD, which, like, nothing happened. He's not God. But he he's has a that starter, one, though. But That's he's a starter, any of and he said. did. He, I think, he was the only, per, the first person at least to block Wemby. So, I mean, I think didn't he dunk on him too? That's tripping? what it was. Sorry. Yeah, he dunked on yeah. him. Yeah. yeah, we're talking about Trace Jackson Davis. I don't know if we said that. I said TJD, oh, TJ, but you know okay. that might not be obvious to the, to the viewers. But no, yeah, I I think that like you guys said, Edie's going into a good situation. Good year for Indiana players. Too. Indiana right. college players. OG or, just got paid. Yeah. OG got paid. Kalo Ware's been playing really Kalo well Ware. in the summer league mm-hmm. with Miami. I haven't caught Alex Sar yet. I'm kind of upset about that. I don't think he's played yet. He hasn't because played it's yet. only the summer league tournament where it's like the Utah and like the Golden State Warriors one. Oh, it's, it's like, like the regional. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 it's those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The actual like summer league starts tomorrow. Okay. Words. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is true. It starts tomorrow. Right. That's right. So I'm really excited to see that. See, I hope Matis plays. I want to see Zar, uh, like Sar play too. Just because, yeah. like, with these like overseas players, like we don't get to watch them. Yeah. You know, they don't have a March Madness. Yeah. And like, I'm not gonna wake up at like <laughs> whatever time to watch Alex Sar yeah. play. Like, you're right. You're right. It is what it is. But yeah. But, Talk, go ahead. I was gonna say before we get into like the next trade, I want to ha- ask you guys how you guys think about like the Kings getting Demar Derozan. Like, what do you guys think that situation is gonna look like for them? Honestly, bro, like. I haven't put, like, I haven't sat down and thought too much about it. Obviously, the gut instinct for most people, I assume, is, like, the spacing is going to be horrible just because he's a mid-range shooter. And DeMontis, like, Sabonis, you know, he operates in the elbows. So, I mean, it could work. I think it will work. DeRozan still has a lot to offer. He's still quick off the catch. um, Can drive off the dribble. But I don't know, man. It's just, I I think he'll come out with a three-point shot this year. I don't know if that's a hot take. But I think they have faith in developing his three-point shot. And it's so late, yes, but, I mean, I think he has to. He's send, the send a lethal shooter. I saw someone say he's, uh, he's best as a first option, Yeah. but he's probably, like, the worst first option in the league. I, I was going to say, is he the best first option? But, like, Not, like, the but worst, I get what you mean, but he's, but like, I get what bottom, you mean, yeah. bottom barrel first option. So, like, yeah. he's just in an awkward, awkward spot with that. He is. He's just like unfortunately just one of those guys. Yeah. <laughs> like just like the way their play style is. But towards the end of the season this year, he was shooting them a lot more. Mm-hmm. And like he can hit them. Like he's a very skilled shooter. So maybe this year it could be the time that we see DeMar DeRozan start pulling a lot more threes. But I'm not sure. And as far as like how successful Sacramento can be, you know, well, I think it what was it two seasons ago where they were like a top four seed. Yeah. What was that? Yeah, two or three seasons ago, whenever yeah. that was, two, I believe. Like, that team was great. So, I, I mm. kind of just wondered, like, what happened. Like, just, like, with that squad. I think, do you think they would have been better off with Brandon Ingram instead of DeMar DeRozan? Because the, uh, mm. Brandon Ingram was rumored to He's been... possibly end up in Sacramento. You know what? I, I think I'd like DeMar. I just feel like, as, as be, for him, if he goes there as a second or third option, I think it'll be good for him. Um, Miles mentioned the spacing. I think what DeMar did really well for the Bulls is, like, he, he attacked the basket a lot. And then having his ability to hit, like, shooters on the Kings, I think will be very good. He's, he's not that bad of a passer. 
Yeah, he was up to um, six or seven assists in uh, San Antonio at one point. So, yeah, he was. I mean, I think, yeah, that's actually a really – I'm glad you said that because yeah. that's a really good point. Now he has – because the Bulls were, what, the top three, one of the worst three-point shooting teams in the NBA last year? <laughs> I don't know the exact yeah. stat. I know they, they were, were horrible at it. Yeah, they were down there. But, I mean, yeah, his – DeMar DeRozan's playmaking is underrated. It really is. To, to Quality answer. take clip that reel that <laughs> it's good to, put out there just to finish off the last person to answer but i do think that demar de rosen will make oh jeez <laughs> um well no i, I do think but, demar ski pulls over here <laughs> shout out shorzy um <laughs> show him what a ski pull is <laughs> shout out. because they don't know no um i do think demar de rosen makes sacramento better and i'm glad that you mentioned that uh season where they were a lot better than they are right now. I do think that though that this helps them get closer to that again. Um, and I would rather see probably Brandon Ingram on the Kings. I think that would have been a better situation. But at the same time, Demar Derozan fits as well. I is he like certifiably going to be the first option on that team? No, no, no. no. Fox yeah. for sure. Yeah, Jared Fox had a great year last year. Yeah. He actually developed He's been, a shot too. Yeah, yeah, yeah we like saw him on that shot chart. That he cut the hair. <laughs> cut True. the hair. That's what it is. He got rid of more distractions. Air, more hair than you. Speaking of haircut, Tatum. Dude. Tatum haircut? You don't want to hear my Top five in the league? You don't want to hear my thoughts on that. <laughs> he's going to buzz it down slowly. Yeah. He's warming it's the crowd up. He's warming <laughs> the crowd up for his new look. <laughs> new look, new number. But, yeah. I, I think uh, B.I. would have been good for the Kings as far as, like, spacing. Yeah. But as far as, like, scoring and experience, DeMar's absolutely Oh, player. yeah. That's a good point. I feel but, like. And that is, I think. But I'm a big fan of spacing, yeah. so, like, I'd, like, damn near almost would pick. Bi, yeah. yeah, but you know, well, and Bi is reason one thousand why it could wouldn't be a great GM. <laughs> well, like Bi, I mean, just for the record, like Bi doesn't shoot that many threes either. He doesn't. He's a pretty good shot creator though. Like they yeah. kind of play, like DeRozan and him kind of play the same. Bi just has a slightly better three point shot. Yeah. So like, I feel like either way, you're getting the same thing. Yeah. For sure. But I think like Demar, he's more comfortable setting into that like second or third option because Bi is younger. Yeah, I was gonna sure. say I also like what Kevin said with like the veteran presence and just yeah. experience. Experience, you know, the guy's been there. He was in that K Dot music video. <laughs> he was in like Toronto. I saw that. <laughs> and bro played in Toronto. So. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. I saw that. A I lot of like, people have something to say bro. about that. <laughs> but um, another offseason move that I wanted to bring up because last episode we talked about Denver not doing anything. Signed Dario Saric, two year, ten million dollar deal. A solid pickup. <laughs> Sarge can, he's not winning them a, not winning them a ship, but they did the something. He was. I mean, they went and did something. Yeah. Gary Trent, they're not bringing him back to Toronto. Mm -hmm. So I'm really curious to see where he ends up, because I feel like he can be a really good contributor to a uh, contending team. Yeah. There hasn't even been teams coming out, like, saying, like, who's, who's like, interested in. So, like, I don't even know where he's thinking or what teams are interested in Gary Trent. Right. Well, I would like to see that. I wonder if that means that everyone's interested or that no one is. Who was their backup big last year? Wasn't it like Zeke Naji? Yeah. For but, Toronto? No, for, for, Nuggets. for Nuggets. For Denver. Nuggets? Yeah, I'm, Zeke Naji. Yeah, bro. I they mean, have DJ, but he doesn't play. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, I, I wouldn't expect, like, I wouldn't want DeAndre Jordan in my, <laughs> my yeah, rotation. Probably not. Probably but not. Sarge, yeah, I mean, that's a good pick. I mean, Zeke Naji was your backup. Dario Sarge is now your backup. I think they need more. I think they need a nice wing off the bench, but yes, they need. They, they also. I feel like they need a two guard too, because Christian Brown. I think he plans to play like that two or three, mm -hmm. probably more yeah. than three, but they need another guard. I think. I like Watson at the four. So Watson's really good for them. Yeah, I read he's like one of those like before random get, players I really like. Before we get the comments about oh Watson is a wing off the bench, <laughs> I just want to <laughs> state that. Yeah. <laughs> Feel how hot water. Oh, Lakers rumors. Possible Gary Trent Jr. trade. No way. Really? really? Just now. Yeah. I've said Lakers. it before, man. Every time we record, some, new, shoot. some NBA yeah. news drops. Every wow. time we record, some NBA news drops like, or like something crazy. Like happens. they traded him or? No, no, no. no they're just in official. rumors? Rumors. Um, well, Tyus Lakers Jones, want everybody. Gary Trent, Isaac Okoro, top remaining free agents. I'd like, like to see where Isaac Okoro goes to. I've never been high on him, bro. I, I was when he why. got drafted. But then after seeing him play these last few years, I was like, I really expected a lot from this guy. I respect his defense, but like, so does everyone else. Like, I, yeah. I just don't. I don't think he's that special. I think it's just be. Cleveland, man. 
I don't know. It's like him and Karis LeVert are just like polar opposites. Like one's really good at offense and the other one's really good at defense. Yeah. Like similar size, similar build. Like <laughs> I just hate that that rotation, bro. If they could just combine them into one hive mind. Be a great player. <laughs> be a great player. <laughs> It'd be a very solid player to have on your team, but the Warriors are trying to bring bring in their new splash brother, Buddy Healed. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I just thought I'd say I don't it. care either. Yeah, like, I don't know, Buddy Yield. I was actually going to text you to cut that. <laughs> like, I was like, I don't want to even I didn't hear. I almost it. skipped over it, but I was like, hey, you know what? Like, Buddy Heald, like, he's like, yeah. he's like a, I don't want to say big name, yeah. but people know who Buddy Heald is, yeah. you know? Yeah. Bro, did you Daniel know? Daniel Tice went to New Orleans. They got their center that we talked about. <laughs> <laughs> no. Did you guys uh, see that this sign and trade with like Buddy Heal to the Warriors was uh, involved six teams and it's the first six team trade in NBA history? And it's Buddy Heal. Yeah, we'll we we'll go. pop it up. I don't want to read it all. It was. I remember. <laughs> I remember seeing the like the the breakdown on Bleacher Report, and I was just like, I'm not reading all of this. Like they yeah. like they, they were, it's, yeah. Uh, it was just ridiculous, man. Yeah, the Warriors basically got Kyle Anderson and Buddy Heald, and the 76ers got a 2031 second round pick. So, okay. But, I mean, Buddy Heald, like you said, um, that new splash brother, maybe could replace Clay Thompson with that. He's 31 know. years the old. The Warriors are so garbage, guys. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they're, they're I hope bad, none of you guys say. Shape. I hope we're getting over the you can't count out the Warriors. You can't count out <laughs> Curry. Tell bro. Daniel that. Bro, bro, you can't you count serious? out Curry. <laughs> what do you mean you can't count out Curry? Like, no, I'm gonna... kidding. Obviously, yeah. no. Obviously, I don't think this... so. <laughs> no, I am kidding. Last year it seemed maybe a little bit more believable because nah. Mister was yeah. you know sitting on the bench still, and you didn't you didn't know what he was gonna do. But true, true. it's um. But yeah, no. At at the end of this season, it's pretty much cemented like. Something needs to change. I still think Curry's got a few good years out of him. Of course, or like of course. yeah, he's got he some good years. Yeah, he's, he's he's Curry's still going to be Curry. He's yeah. hoping for teams. So I'm I'm it. hoping yeah. that the Warriors um, front office and everyone involved is able to make some progression to make that team better for the next five years because they're a fun team to watch. The Golden State Warriors are a really fun team to watch. So is Stephen Curry. I like Steve Kerr. He plays an offense that I like to watch. Yeah, you know how I hate to watch pods i think he sucks what Dude, i do not like he's what? so he's Damn. actually so like it sucks watching him bro he, he plays so hard exactly my point <laughs> yeah. exactly. Wait, i don't, I don't, I know, watch, I mean, I don't like, like that bro. Bro. i know what you mean Wait, what i you remember you i said he plays so hard like oh, i like watching someone you know, kevin doesn't like tryhards like that <laughs> like no the i try hard the try like, hard i hate his christian brown bro yeah he is a true christian watching brown poster rudy gobert in the playoffs he said, what do you mean <laughs> christian brown Christian Brown's great. Oh, uh, Pods, Pods second in the league in charges this year. <laughs> <laughs> he, he might have been first. That's actually. why. <laughs> nah, if Jalen Williams is in the NBA, the worst J Dub, he's gonna always gonna be first. I think he might have been. I think both right. of them were one and two. I don't know which order. Of course, but like, that's just like bro Pods. Like I'd rather watch cricket than watch that kid play. <laughs> but what's funny you saying that is uh, the Warriors wanted to make him the starter over Clay Thompson, and I think that's what made Clay a little bit like mad and. They he did wanted that. to. Yeah, he yeah. was. Yeah, for sure. I'm saying like next season, like full on starter though. Like. Oh yeah. And um. Wow. But Warriors aren't done either. They're looking to like still like add pieces to the team. They're very heavily targeting Laurie Markman. That would be a game changer. And it seems like they're offering a lot of picks for him too. A game that, changer. That unfortunately really? is not. I changed my mind. I would not want the Warriors to give up picks for a win now move. Yeah, because they're not. Yeah. Winning. yeah, they're not. I don't know if marketing pushes the needle that much no, for them. I don't think no. at all. I was going to say, he yeah. pushes the needle, but like. There's still gaps in their offense. They, I think the best they can do is six seed. You need, a, you need yeah. like a third third person to settle in, I think, to Pots. win a championship. <laughs> <laughs> Looney, dude. No, Draymond Green. Ridiculous. <laughs> He's a Hall of Famer. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> That brother need help. I just seen him like I seen like the like the Team USA videos like Cooper Flag and all them like Team Select playing Team USA, and I just saw him dribble and I was like, why is he there? <laughs> it was just making me mad because he plays hard. Like that's the honestly that's the only reason he's there. He plays <laughs> yeah, hard. Like, like he's someone who could play defense. I don't know. Yeah, that's right. right. Try hard. No, what Kevin uh, used to say. It doesn't matter. I've heard only good things about Cooper Flag, by the way. Oh, the dude, dude yeah. I've I've not heard a single bad thing. People, the vets want... love him. 
I yeah. heard uh, gonna say that's... Tatum popped on uh, Mello's podcast and was talking high of him too. Dude, future but, Brooklyn like, that. It seems Ron like... KD. I really, I really stuff. don't know who doesn't want him on that team because, like you guys said, it's players, fans, every at basketball like hoop post I see. Well, I don't think it's like I mean. Hey. Wait, before go ahead, you, go ahead, go no, ahead. because before y'all um you say whatever you say. I remember I brought up Cooper Flag playing on Team USA, and y'all clowned me for that. Well, I was. Why well, didn't say that? I wasn't yeah. about a clown, but I was definitely going di- like, to. I do kind of. Yeah. I will. I mean, I'll state it. I'll say what I was going to say. Cooper Flag should not be on Team USA. Yeah. When I never said he wasn't good. He's yeah. Great. I remember. Like, but he should not be on Team he's USA. He's extremely good and competitive for a seventeen-year-old playing Olympic basketball. That doesn't mean he's like good enough to be on the team <laughs> I, I remember i remember how our conversation went that day and it was literally it's not that we said that cooper flag doesn't deserve to be on an olympic like level team it's doesn't. that he not no not this one not when you have the starting five being yeah. you know ad yeah. kd like that's just he could have been on the one with like walker kessler i don't he think he could have been on and, 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 future, and future ones like obviously he's not as good as any of those players yeah. like he's gonna get out competed but like ad on the the USA team when he was coming out of college. I know Cooper Flag's younger, but it's like the same thing. Yeah, and, on a and team yeah. like with that little talent compared to what it could have been. Any I year, don't see why not. any year after this, let Cooper Flag play for sure, but not when we have the monster squad playing for for <laughs> Team yeah. USA. How yeah, about if just... uh, if Josh Hart's on Team USA, Cooper Flag could play. <laughs> Cooper Flag yeah, could play yeah. too. <laughs> whenever, whenever it's not the Olympics and USA basketball is playing, Cooper Flag could play. Yeah. Like the FIBA last year. <laughs> If it's Duke University, Cooper Flag could play. How about that? We'll yeah, just leave it at that. That's where he's running. It. How it's supposed to be. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to see if Miles, Vic, and Daniel can guess the top 10 coolest NBA players right now, according to Ranker, voted on by fans. So I'm just going to, we're just going to go down the line here. Miles, you're first. Um, go, go, and throw, go and throw a player at me. Coolest NBA player. Coolest NBA player? It's as uh, simple as it sounds. Just cool. Cool. Who's cool? Yeah, who's cool? Who's got uh, aura? Well, I'll tell you who doesn't have aura is Tatum. So <laughs> yeah. I won't say him, but I bet he's on the list still. Uh, give me, you know, I don't want to say something obvious. Give me John Morant. Is John Morant on there? John Morant is on the list at number nine. Coolest player <laughs> wow. in the NBA, according to the kids. <laughs> it's, it's in order, too, right? Yeah, one, ten. Huh? Nothing. Never mind. What is, uh, who voted on this? Just like. Fans. Just fans? Yeah. This on, list like, was Twitter provided by Ranker. Like, Oh, yeah. Ranker? Oh, yeah. Did Vic you probably, say that already? Yeah, I, just, I did. Okay, I said I Ranker. It, I think bet. so. All right, Vic, give me a name. All right, this guy probably has to be top three. If he's not top three, I'll be shocked. Shea Gilgis Alexander. Shea oh, Gilgis Alexander. He's not even on there. Uh, be prepared to get shocked. He's number four. Okay. <laughs> Shea's well. not that cool. Go ahead. <laughs> Bro, he, I agree. He, I he agree. Has a, he has the best captions in the NBA. <sighs> yeah, he speaks in captions. Here we go. That, that's just like a... Never mind. I, don't, I really don't want to get into it. Go ahead. I mean, all I see is edits. He's a four-time NBA champion, Stephen Wardell Curry. You know those edits? He's a four-time NBA champion. <laughs> Chef Curry, MVP. number five. Ooh, okay. Not really popular with the children. Yeah, I'm, su- I'm surprised. That-, that came out very wrong. But, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. but Come on, man. All right, we're, we're doing good right now. We're three for three. So don't okay, mess it up. Yeah. Miles, give me no. another player who might be the coolest NBA player. I'm going deep cuts, bro. And by deep cut, I mean not popular. Uh, but I'm going to go LaMelo Ball. Is LaMelo Ball on the Ooh, list? LaMelo yeah. Ball is He's, not on the list. Wow. wow. Especially with the younger I thought crowd. I sure he'd be on the list. But also yeah. just like injuries, he hasn't been playing that much. So I feel like true. people haven't been able to see much of him. True, true. Yeah, mm. true, true, true. All right, Vic, back to you. The one that came to my head was Anthony Edwards. Everybody loves him. <laughs> Ant is number one on the list. <laughs> yeah. the coolest player. Wow. That's, okay, I'll give you, Vic, I'll give you that one. That doesn't surprise me at all. Like, yeah, just it doesn't. He's getting next Jordan, crazy. Jordan Child, like he is, bro. But go ahead. Give um, me a name. I know who you're going to pick. I'm going to say it first. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go with your namesake, Kevin Durant. KD's not on the list. Wow. Okay. He's got to be young players. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, I should have. Uh, no, I, I, I know another one that I. I got to go Jimmy Butler on this. Jimmy Butler is on the list at number seven. Wow. What? Coolest player in the I'm NBA. I'm surprised. All really? those guys that could be like Jordan's son and Jimmy Butler, you knew they were going to be on this list. Yeah. Uh, as soon as you said that, I was like, oh, yeah, Jimmy this is only two players, too. So. Back to Vic. Is Tyrese Halliburton on the list? Halliburton is number eight. Wow. Yeah. Coolest player in the league. What that, spots do we have left? 
So, so far left, we have 10, 6, 3, and 2. All right. So who's number two? Daniel, nail number two. So I know it. I know one of the Mavericks has to be on this list, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Luca because of the the stare at the free throw line. So I'm gonna go Luca Doncic. Luca is at number two. Actually, hit that. Yeah, one. Yeah, hit that one. Hit that one on the head right that there. Fire. That was fire. Miles gets back to you. Uh, give me Jalen Brunson. He's pretty popular right Jaylen now. Jalen Brunson is actually not on this list. Dang, I'm surprised I thought that because was he had yeah. a great season yeah. last year. Especially playing in a big market like New York. Mm-hmm. Figure people would think he was cool. But nah, he ain't that cool. All right, Vic. Next guest to you. I'm trying to think of the teams. No, we need players, not teams. No, I know. <laughs> I'm just going like play. Is Jason Tatum on there? We think Jason Tatum is not on the no. list. No, not, not after the aura. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just, I had to throw it out there. I don't think you're far off. I feel like. JB could be on this. That's your I'm guy. Gonna go, I'm going to go. Guy. I know. I know. That is my guy. But I have. Mm, you guys made me rethink for a second. Come on. I hit him, bro. No. You know what? Um, no. I was going to say book, but like. Booker, I feel, like, pe- I I feel see... like people think he's cringy. No, people hate book. Yeah. Bro. Pe- that's what I'm saying. People hate on book. Um, I, I give mean, me Victor Wembanyama. I feel like not he's on the list. not on the list. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was I, a good guess. Though. Yeah. I felt like people have. Yeah. All right. Guess back to Miles. Uh, just by sheer popularity. I'm going to go... Actually, no. I'm not going to say that. Give me Kyrie Irving. Not on the list. Okay, I knew it had to I be one of the Mavericks. But I, yeah. <laughs> All right, back to you. We got three left. LeBron James. LeBron James not on the list. What? Oh, no. He has no bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's what everyone says, bro. <laughs> That's true. But, I mean, still off the court swag. Well, I got, I got two. I got... Two, you know. Um... I wonder if any women had anything to do with this voting. Kelly Oubre. Kelly Oubre, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's actually not a bad guess. Yeah, I can't <laughs> even lie. <laughs> like, There's a different way to go. You have to try it. Uh, three, six, and ten are left. Yeah, I'll just go Giannis. Giannis, he's popular. Oh, number three. Oh, yeah. wow. On the list. That was a good one. I was, trying to, I was hoping it wouldn't be just like the popular player. Because like, Giannis is cool, but is he like cool enough for me to vote him coolest player in NBA? Like Probably not. Yeah. yeah. This guy gets a lot of hate, but is Trey Young on the list? Trey Young is not on the list. Mm. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, and they would never let Trey. I know. They will never let Trey Young get on the list for anything good. Yeah, that's what I figured. Mm. So there's uh, two more, right? What yes, spots? We have six and ten. Six and ten. Six and ten. <laughs> we have Eastern and West, Western Conference guy. Eastern one, and one Western. Each, okay. One from each side. Um, oh. Did we already say? Well, did we did we say anyone else on Knicks besides Jalen Brunson? It's not Brunson. I yeah, think you should yeah. go with your guy, bro. I really you think do. so? I okay, think so. I don't think yeah. so. <laughs> he could be throwing us off. I mean, his face mask was pretty sick, bro. <laughs> he just doesn't. I just don't feel like people like. There, it can't back be a Celtic like that. then. Um, it's not a Celtic. Yes. Yeah, Gosh, I'm, mm. I'm struggling right now. Uh, Donovan Mitchell. Nope. Damn. Not D. Mitch. Give me, uh, give me Paolo Banquero. Paolo Banquero. Nope. Not Paolo Banquero. <laughs> I was thinking him. Are we, is it like, are we dumb? Is this like an obvious one or are they like kind of deep cut? One of them like surprised me, but another one like I felt like he would have been guessed by now. Okay. Oh, wow. Well. That's fair. So it's got to be like a star then. All star this year. Is it probably. Tyrese Maxey? Not Tyrese Maxey. It's definitely not a beat. Unless I would that's hope he's not. Surpri- unless that's the one he's surprised by. No, it's not a beat. <laughs> Surprise. Not Paul. It's not book, the right? Paul George no. at it. It's Paul George? Not Paul George. Damn. Oh, dang, dude. dude. I thought you had it. That actually is a good one. Uh, <laughs> he started doing the, the melody. <laughs> Didn't you know? Uh, I mean, it's, it's not Kawhi, is it? It's not Kawhi. Mm. Oh, man. Ooh, but you opened up a new gateway for me. Back to Vic. I feel like Russell maybe. Westbrook. Not Russell Westbrook. James Harden. Not James Harden. Damn. We have a point guard in <laughs> the. We got okay. a point guard in the center. Damian oh, yeah. Lillard. Damian Lillard at number six. Oh okay. yeah. There we go. Sub zero. Yeah. We should have thought of that. Yeah. People love D Lillard. People, yeah. He's very popular. Dang. So Dame Dollar. Now it's one in the West. Mm. Man. A center in the <laughs> East. Imagine it's like Carl Anthony if Towns. It, no, it's a center in the <laughs> yeah, East. So it's like, he really did. <laughs> yeah. He really did. <laughs> 
after all that. <laughs> Dang, who's the center in the East? Right? I don't know. It's in the Western Conference now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Keontae George, George. <laughs> Walker Kessler. <laughs> it could be no, the, no, because uh, oh, well, this could be the surprising one. What's the, know who it what is? position? Is it? I can guess. Yeah. Oh. It's a center, Nikola Jokic. Nikola Jokic. I knew it. That's yeah. what I was gonna say. I was like, I didn't it's the obvious one. Nobody. No, did. no one. Yeah. Did. No, yeah, no one said. Jokic. I didn't. You really no. think you really think you would have put Nikola Jokic on a cool list? No, yeah. I was gonna <laughs> say. Him. That's what I'm saying. Like, no one. Yeah, like, no, I wouldn't have expected that one either. I was gonna like, say. Like, he's him. exciting to watch, but he's not. And he's I not exciting no. to watch. Yes, he is. Someone Are you else. kidding me? Oh yeah, you're telling me it's not no, exciting to see someone put up 40, 20, and twenty. Yeah, no, you're right. Finishing around does it. Yeah, attractive. It isn't beautiful. But it yeah, is. I was, was going to say, it kind of isn't fun to see him put up 40, 20, yeah. and 20. When we watch no, this, I, I hope I don't like, like bring rather, this up. I'd rather watch Luca put up 40, 20, I, I hope 20. I don't bring That's this true. up too much, but yeah, when but we Luka watch that. 60 shots. I, I hope I don't bring this up too much, but when we watch that game in person, like he did, he, that was the year they won, and he was putting back every single shot he took. So like at one point like I would like I I'd, I'd look down as he was shooting his first shot because I was like <laughs> he's just going to grab it and put, do a put back. But yeah. still, you know, phenomenal player. For sure. yeah. but, what number was he on the list? Jokic? Yeah. 10. Oh, okay. Yeah. So FIBA's underway, and we're witnessing one of the most stacked Team USA rosters assembled. And last night, Team USA defeated Canada 86-72. to And the starters last night were Booker, LeBron, Embiid, Curry, and Drew Holiday. That was so interesting. What do you, and it's still the group, group phase, so what do you guys think about Team USA so far? What are you guys' thoughts? Anthony Davis coming off the bench is insane. Yeah, <laughs> like, dude, that is pretty crazy, imagine. especially the season he just had and how available he was too this yeah, year. That's that's insane. Yeah, that is pretty crazy. To me. We also got to remember KD didn't play last night. Yeah, he's dealing true. with he's dealing with a calf strain. I he, still was he's one hundred percent going to start. I was surprised, probably over Booker. I would say. Yeah. I I think they're going to start if Drew Holiday started like with like it has to be. It has to be Drew Holiday. The, the thing I saw, though, is that they're having LeBron bring up the ball. Curry's going to play more of a shooting guard role. Mm. I mean, yeah, but Drew's out there for defense. Like, for sure. That's why I feel like they want Drew Holiday out there. Yeah, I'm saying, I'm yeah. saying like, Drew Holiday will still start. Like, Booker will go to the bench. I feel like as far as, like, n- nah, this doesn't matter. I was going to say, like, name and just having people out there. Like, uh, I'd probably say maybe, like, Drew Holiday will probably be out there now that I think about it again. I don't know why. When you initially said it, I thought you had it in like reverse. I was like, oh no, they might keep Drew Holiday out there. Yeah. So I, I, I thought well, you said it, I thought you said the opposite way. It does sound weird at first glance, just because. Was Derek you know. White there last night? Mm, no, yeah, no, there's no way he got into it that fast because they just like. Yeah, announced. I didn't see him in the in the review I watched because I only watched the second half, truthfully. So. Yeah. The the biggest impression that was left on me from that game was that. It seems like they're kind of taking it like a like a. It, it has the same energy as the All Star Game. Like it seems like a lot of players are are just really like having fun and enjoying it, which you know they can because they're the best team on in in the world right now. Um, and and you know to be fair, it is very early in this tournament, so um, you would hope that they'll serious up a little bit as they get closer. But last night, what I saw is that it, it might turn into the same energy as like just. Lob City basically and like trying yeah. dumb shit the whole time. I, d- I did want to say they play uh, they play your favorite team in their next two games South Sudan. South Sudan. They play, South, <laughs> they play South Sudan I think next week uh, in the tournament. I know you're gonna be I know I you're gonna be front schedule. and center. You know what we're talking about. He looks a little confused bro, right now. It was like one know? in the morning, bro. Last night I looked up their schedule and I was like, oh South Sudan. They play South Sudan. <laughs> it's like I forgot about South Sudan. <laughs> Wait, I'm forgetting about it. Right. on the pod, bro. When you kept bringing up South Sudan, as if like of... that was like the only team they were gonna play. <laughs> oh, and Mouse was like, no, there's four teams. In South I remember Sudan. you saying that. <laughs> <Yeah>. Like, <you're... laughs> I do remember that. Okay, that's bro. Funny. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they got Serbia next. Yeah, that'll be a good. That'll be a fun game. It will. Is Goran Dragic on Serbia? He's Slovenian. He's Slovenian. Slovenian. Yeah. That's right. Who else is on Serbia? Like from the NBA that we Nikola know? Jovic, Topic, <laughs> all, <Jokic. the> <laughs> yeah. all yeah, all the Nik- all the Nikola itches. What about Miritic and Vucevic? Where's Vucevic from? He's from Montenegro. Ma- yeah, he's from yeah. Ooh, that's that's crazy. Uh, that was good pronunciation. Yeah, actually, was. Where's Larry Markin from? Finland. Finland. Yeah. yeah. I do. I know. <laughs> Learned your lesson. <laughs> yeah. 
He's from Finland. Last time he said Sweden, we got flamed on the reels. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, no. Dude, yeah. someone like wrote paragraphs. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I just see the reply. You gotta be an idiot. I see it's the like ripping you apart. All lowercase, it says, it was a mistake <laughs> on the GMLB account. Vic was upset. Bro. That's hilarious. But yeah, I'm in. Bro, it's really surprising how many Canadian NBA players there are. Dude, last night, yes. when we were watching the game last night, Victor was like, bro, he's Canadian. He's Canadian. I, I didn't know like, Nemhard was. Nemhard or Trey is. Lyles, actually. Lou Dort. Yeah, Lou Dort surprised me. Yeah. I didn't know that. Lou Dort, SGA, Jamal Murray, Barrett. Murray was Olenek. a jump scare for me. I mean, I, you, yeah. we we discussed this in like. You didn't know Jamal Murray was from Canada? No, because we, we, I didn't know that like months ago. And then it was another jump scare last night when I was like, oh. I forgot, right. you know what I mean? He's Canadian. I think Dylan Brooks, of course. Yeah. Did you guys see what Dylan Brooks did after the game? D Book had a post game interview oh. in the hallway, and Dylan Brooks walked right in front of the camera intentionally. Like, it's so corny how much he tries to make himself a villain. Yeah. It's like, yeah. bro, no one worries about you. <laughs> yeah, like, you're Dylan Brooks. I know. He's the Dylan Dennis of the NBA. If anyone knows who that is, Dylan Dennis. The Dylan Dennis. Dude. Yeah, that's a great that, pair. Exactly. That's really funny. I think Cam Wilder could beat him one on one, bro. Could be Dylan Brooks one on one. Dylan Brooks because he has great defense. But as far as just like but offense, but that's it. Like I guess he shot seventy percent for the first month of NBA last he season. Was. <laughs> he was going crazy. Was, you know, no way this dude has like a great season. Yeah. But then that yeah, that diminished. Right I remember that mag. conversation that yeah. we had. We were all like. Like, what hey. the? <laughs> yeah. like, hey. Did they underpay for Dylan Brooks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did they Seriously. get him on discount? Literally, that's dude. Crazy. Oh, that's funny, bro. Yeah, that that was that was really scary. I was like, yeah. you better fall off. Yeah, no, I, I, can't, I can't deal with this because the amount. I'd rather of watch pods <laughs> play. <laughs> yeah, the, the amount of stuff we said when he got his contract. The pod strays are crazy, bro. Yeah. yeah, you know that's how I am. One guy that surprised me was Ant, bro. Ant, the shots he was taking, the shots he was making, like the fact that he's. I mean, is he the youngest guy on the team? Probably, right? Mm. Halliburton's older than him. Yes, he is. Yeah, Ant's the youngest. Yeah, sorry, Ant's 22. Ant's yeah, the youngest wow. guy on the team. And, he, dude, the sh- like, he's he, got a lot of, he got a lot of shots, That buzzer bro. beater was nice. A lot of, like, screens for him. Like, he's number bringing the ball up. Like, dude, that's... He said he, it. He picked yeah. up right where he left off, yeah. bro. And he I said it in an interview, like, last week or a week and a half ago. He said, oh, I'm the number one option. Like, they're going to have to fit the player on me. And I was like, ah, oh, he's back at it. Yeah. <laughs> no, he was the leading scorer last night. Yeah, yeah bro. No. I was about to say. Like, I was like, oh, okay. The the comments underneath that were hilarious. Though. They were like, yeah, first option off the bench and stuff <laughs> like that. So. Um, speaking of uh, first option, what do we think about the players voting for how they voted LeBron as, like, the best player on Team USA out of that stacked up lineup? It kind of changed my perspective, bro. Honestly, like, like the mutual respect for LeBron and like, I don't know, bro. I thought like he was gonna come out and just like look kind of kind of slow, kind of old, like his Lakers self. But bro, that black on Shea, yeah, <laughs> that was nice, bro. That was, that was nice, nah. But it kind of it actually did kind of change my perspective on on LeBron. I was not expecting him to come out and like actively be the best player. Yeah, but you could tell just the way he impacts the game, yeah. even if it's not scoring, is just guy can still play. That's why he's running that point. Yeah, and dude, defensively he looked good too. Like, yeah, man, he can still move on ball, on ball. The help side was I saw a couple clips. It was kind of yeah. bad. But... I feel like no one really plays help side. True, if you're they, not, they if... lack to get the clip, man. You got to get it block. Yeah. on the opposite side. Mm-hmm. Well, Steve Kerr came out and said like how impressed he was with LeBron's like worth that worth work ethic like um, before games and stuff, and then. One of the Thompson twins also came out and said that, like, it's crazy that he's 40 years old and the best player on the court. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's, he's at the helm. I mean, you couldn't have drawn it up better than having a seasoned vet with 20 years under his, under his belt to lead Team USA with the strongest team we've ever seen. Like, you can't write that any better. Dude, this guy was on the team when Carlos Boozer was on the Olympic team. He's played, he's played three <laughs> generations. Was, this man bro. is old. Didn't they say, hasn't he played, uh, no, he hasn't played three generations, I don't think. It's just two. But I, are you, uh, but I feel no, like, he's played three. has he played three, gen, no, I'm, well, what I'm talking about is three times. generations of families. Oh. Like, he's, Place the dad, oh. the son, and then the son. Oh no! I mean, no he'd have yet. to play till he's sixty. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> but, <laughs> Dude, he matches up against Deuce Tatum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he does the two hand <laughs> slam on the ground, <laughs> bro. He's gonna be out there with a cane. Yeah. Right, my, right, my. But how do we feel about the Derek White subbing for Kawhi? Kawhi Leonard. 
Yeah, I don't even dude. know why Kawhi was there, bro. <laughs> he like, got the group Stephen photo. Stephen A. Smith called it, bro. He yeah. can't even he said, play his postseason. I'd be surprised if he makes it. He committed to the to the USA team while he was injured during the postseason. Like, yeah. Like, bro. <laughs> but I feel he, like it wasn't all his, like, decision to get out because, like, the Clippers wanted him out, too. Oh, but, like, it's smart. Available. It you know, is smart. You know he has yeah. a degenerative knee disease? Like, I don't even know what that means. Is, like, it's like breaking down. Do you, do you know what it's called? Jeez. I don't know the exact name, but it's like a like it's actually a long term injury, yeah. <laughs> which sucks. But he, um, I mean, I just I never understood why he was there in the first place. Even like with him being as good as he is, I don't know why they called it class photos. Like honestly, I'd rather team have, photos. I met the rather, fu lineup, man. I'd rather Lions. have Paul yeah. George, bro. We talked about it a while ago. Like, I, why is he there? For staff, you why not? Yeah. Like it's, why not? That's yeah, what that's exactly. what we always Cause, said cause is why can. not? Yeah. Yeah. But a lot of people said it should have been JB called up. Dude, I lo- I've been seeing it on Twitter. Have that's y'all seen days. that drama with yeah. him and Nike? Yeah. What? Bro, so who Jalen Brown? Yes. Yeah. So Jalen Brown was like very upset about it. And he's implying that Nike, who's the sponsor of Team USA, had to say in choosing Derek White over him. And he went on Twitter saying like is this really what Nike's doing? And then he also tweeted today. He's like, I'm not afraid of you or your resources. And Brown is actually a sneaker free agent. So he's not signed to any shoe company at the moment. And um, he's been calling out Nike for the past two seasons. Yep. And he even wears Nike shoes with cutting the logo out or like doing them custom and having the, uh, having like a quote on there saying, just do better. Like having obviously like jabbing at Nike's like logo. Is it yeah. um, post championship crash out? Do, yeah. do, is is there like a specific reason why Jalen Brown does not like Nike? That's so weird. The it's, way they handled the Kyrie Irving situation. Okay, yeah. some time back. There's a lot of reasons. Like, what there's Kyrie, a lot of reasons. What not situation to like with the shoes? Nike. Just like you remember when Nike Nike dropped Kyrie because of Kyrie's antics off the court, like oh, the things yeah, he said yeah, yeah. on social media about the documentary. And what, I'm not going to get into it. But he said just like, he just really didn't like the way that Nike handled Kyrie Irving. And it's, he's been going at Nike for a long time. Like Victor said, it's been two seasons. That's crazy, man. But he's, 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 uh, he's pretty hot right now with like going at him on Twitter. Yeah. The company that made them trash-ass jerseys, bro. <laughs> I think the USA jerseys are that horrible. Nah, bro, I think they're trash, bro. <laughs> that's, the, that, that's the company that's picking the team or having a say in it, bro. There's just no like that's crazy creativeness, I feel like, anymore. Yeah, everything's going so simple. Minimalistic. Every, everything is very minimalistic nowadays. Canada's jerseys actually look very similar because they're also made by Nike. Yeah. It was like the same jersey, just red and yeah. red and white instead yeah. of white and blue. But yeah, I just want to say, any shoe that Kyrie Irving makes, I will buy, especially those new ones with the little skirts on the sides. The tassels. The tassels. So, yeah, yeah. I love. I love. So, I Jalen love Brown that. tweeted. He said, "I need to get me a pair of those." Of course. <laughs> he tweeted, he tweeted, he tweeted that yesterday. <laughs> Dude, I do too. Your Kyrie Irving hates about a switch to Jalen Brown. Watch, I, I'm <laughs> telling you, the nah, post championship yeah. crash out's coming. I'm telling oh, you, yeah, dude, it's coming. It's coming because now they don't. Now they don't have to work well together. Yeah. I, <laughs> no matter. I got the ring. Yeah. I got my 300 mil. Oh, I retired. Dude, I retired from the Kyrie hate, bro. <laughs> After we won the chip, I, I told y'all. I said alive on the pot. I'm retired from the Kyrie I hate. Did, JB. <laughs> I can't hate on those shoes though because they're trash. They trash. <laughs> they're, I like them honestly. Like, why would and, Why would you buy those of all the shoes you could buy? Like those, just on court. Those. If, you, like if you feel this, if you feel the same way about Nike that JP and Kyrie yeah. does, go ahead. Damn, bro. I mean, just wear another shoe brand. Why you gotta cut the logo out? I miss my, like, I miss my fly traps. So you know much. why? Because like, that makes damn. too much. Because that makes those too much bad. sense, and NBA players don't like to make sense. Yeah, I mean, they like being complicated. Maybe the shoes are good. Like maybe they're just good shoes. That's like, true, but like he had the Grinches and cut the Nike sign off. I see. Yeah. I seen that picture. But I mean, I honestly think he should have been there over Derek White. I don't know what you guys think, but. Yeah, it's certifiable. As far as filling opinion. a role, mm-hmm. you don't want to have, like, so many stars there. That's why I got, like, Drew Holiday as great as he is. I mean, Kawhi like, Leonard, you know, I mean, he was there already, and then you put it in JB. No, that is a good point, because I was always on the Derek White side, but now that you mention, like, he's replacing Kawhi Leonard, yeah. who is, a, like, another ball-dominant star. I guess it is kind of disrespectful. If you were replacing like anyone else, Derek it makes White. sense. Derek White. But the thing is, isn't it kind of weird? Isn't it kind of weird though that like it's his teammate? Like, shouldn't he be happy for his teammate? 
Yeah. That is three weird. Celtics yeah. and not the finals or Eastern Conference MVP. Like in that context, that's insane. <laughs> <It is laughs> you heard what I said. That is dis- yeah. What do you say? That exactly that. Like yeah. I was like Derek White or or. But maybe they didn't want to get another ball dominant score in there. Yeah, that's fair. Maybe like Kawhi had problems. Like maybe they saw the problem, but it was too late because they already like invited him to play. Maybe they were just fixing. Like maybe Kawhi like actually didn't fit, and that's why they chose Derek White. Oh, I, there could be that so side too. I don't know about that. That that's <laughs> implying they sat down in a room, looked at Derek White and Kawhi Leonard, and said, "Yeah, we'll take Derek White." <laughs> I don't think that ever happened. <laughs> Maybe hey, though, you never know. I, there is one thing for sure, and it's Trey Young will never make a USA team. No, no. <laughs> even when Austin Reeves makes it. <laughs> no. Absolutely, Grant Hill hates Trey Young. That's death sore taxes, guy. and Grant Hill hates Trey Young. Bro, it's, it's actually so unfortunate, bro. Like, it actually makes me very upset. <laughs> really, you'd like to see him on that team, bro? Trey Young is better than Austin Reeves. Like, oh yeah, the, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. I didn't say he was. Besides Ant and Halliburton, yeah, and Bam. Maybe. I think he's better than Halliburton. Yeah. yeah. At, at that time, he was. Yeah. At that time, he was. Even now, I mean, Halliburton's really good, but Trey Young's good too. Trey Young's fire, man. And he's he's. Trey Young consistent. was a walking twenty-seven and ten last year. Yeah, that's that's yeah. I'm gonna be hosting this next segment. This is gonna be an NBA blind rank between Victor, Daniel, and Kevin. The first blind rank we're gonna do. We have five, five. What do you even call these? Five categories here. And these are big threes. We're going to blind rank some big threes. Your first big three to blind rank. We got the 2012 Bulls with Derrick Rose, Joe Kim Noah, and Luol Dank. You know, as much as I would love to put them one, they didn't win anything. That's what I'm saying. It might have to be five. I was thinking five, too. Yeah. Five. Just cause they... As much as, by the way, this is crazy that me and Victor are putting Derrick Rose at the last in the category. Yeah. I love Derek. They didn't even Rose. have to say anything. They just did it themselves. But, yeah. <laughs> five, lock it in. Yeah. Wait. Five. <laughs> five. All right. Y'all got. You cool with five? Yeah, I was, <laughs> okay. I was going to say five before because yeah. it you just, just makes sense. You just want us to go first. Well, no, yeah. I mean, like, come on. Like, you just want us to jump. There's, there's been a lot of big threes, and, like, yeah. that's not. Like, was that even a big three? Yeah. Like, because right. without D Rose, they lost to an eight seed. Yeah. <laughs> You'll learn quickly. Big three is however you define it. Oh, God. (laughs) You'll learn quick. Second big three on the list. We have the 2016 Bulls. Dwayne Wade, Rajon Rondo, and Jimmy Butler. (laughs) Okay, but I'm I'm not... uh, No, I am mad at that. You'll find out quick, bro. They're going for it. But is he doing all Bulls? (laughs) Is he doing all Bulls? This is where it like... (laughs) It could be possible. This is like playing playing penalties on FIFA with this dude. Whenever whenever y'all let me me host the interactives, bro, you know we about to get lit. Those are big threes, though. Bro, that was a big three, bro. You know that was a big three. It's not a big it was three a in money hindsight. <laughs> it was. Oh, it was. I'm just trying sells. to think of what dumb big three is gonna put in there next. It's gonna yeah. be atrocious. But I'm trying to think. It's not even gonna be a big three at that point. Uh, yeah, we we said four, so we'll yeah, we'll lock we'll, we'll lock, lock it in at four. All right. Your third big three on the list. We have the 2021 Lakers of LeBron James, Russell Westbrook, and Anthony Davis. That team stood out. <laughs> yeah, that team, honestly. <laughs> that reaction said it all. A uh, scoff. Hey, He's look. like, it's just going to It's just gonna uh, go in order. Sucked. Three, two, one. We're just yeah. going to go three, two, one. No, I was going to say that. Just, are we, should we just go down the line with the rest of the picks? Or do you think this is going to be the best one he gives us? It can't like, from, be. Because from the first two? It can't be. It can't be. Every time I host this well, segment. Two? I'm, I was going to say two, two. But if you guys. Yeah, because his number one is going to be Jalen Brown. Uh, Tatum and, and and Porzingis. Celtics nah. don't even count as a big three because they got four. They got four big players, so five if you know. count Joe. Do you Mazzula. guys want? I'll you, say two, two or three. What do you think? Three. I'd rather go three. Tie break. Like I, I had two in mind. So. Damn. All right, two it is. No tie break. Your fourth big three. We got the new wave mid three of the twenty twenty two. New York Knicks, Jalen Brunson, R.J. Barrett, and Julius Randle. <laughs> this was a big three when Brunson got traded. Did the new wave mid three? Did A.D. Westbrook oh. and LeBron make it farther than the Knicks did this year? That, uh, 
They weren't they first rounds? This was 2022. Yeah, this was Barrett's like, not on the team anymore. You know what? On the I hate oh, leaving shit. the one spot open in blind ranks for like the last one. I think you yeah. always pay for that. So for this one, we might have to put one. Okay, that's fine with me. Your logic is sound. That's cool with me. I'll, I'll okay. trust you. Lock in the new wave mid three for number one. So your list goes at number five. You have the 2012 Bulls of D Rose, Joe Kim Noah, and Luol Dang. At number four, you have the 2016 Bulls, Dwayne Wade, Rajon Rondo, Jimmy Butler. At number three, the one you haven't picked, which is filled in now, you Wait, have... Didn't we put... We, oh, you said... Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, three's open. Sorry, At number three, you have the OG New York Knicks mid-three, the 2016 Knicks of Derrick Rose, Kristaps Porzingis, and Carmelo Anthony. That's... At number two, you have the 2021 Lake Show... LeBron James, Russell Westbrook, Anthony Davis, and at number one, you have the new wave mid three of the 2022 Knicks, Jalen Brunson, RJ Barrett, and Julius Randle. I'd give that a solid <laughs> F. <laughs> yeah, I didn't yeah, give you yeah. a lot to work with, <laughs> but for what it's worth. With. I just never knew what was coming up. <laughs> yeah. For what Do it's you think worth? it would have been good to leave that one spot open for that for the Carmelo no. Knicks? No. That was probably number five. As soon as, yes. as soon as y'all put the 2012 Bulls at five, I knew it was cooked. <laughs> it was cooked. I Dude, I thought See, you were going to have some better ones. See, here's yeah. the misconception, bro, because I knew y'all would fall for this. Big three doesn't always mean they're good. I chose all horrible big threes besides Rose, Noah, and Dang. <laughs> they yeah. were the worst big threes I could find. All right. Second blind rank. We're going to be ranking. Victor, Daniel, and Kevin will be blind ranking the greatest NBA journeymen. A journeyman is identified as a player who's played for 10 or more franchises. <laughs> so I pick five, five pretty relevant names that you guys all should know. And you guys are going to blind rank them. Because there's te- people who have played for a bunch of teams that oh, like, yeah. I would never know. But All right. First on our list, we have Trevor Ariza, who has played for 10 franchises throughout his career. Ariza, Ariza's a champ, isn't he? Yep, mm-hmm, and he's yeah. also recently bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, Ariza's that broke. Been in the league for a really long time. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking like top three. I'm. Th- I was thinking three. Put him in the middle. I was gonna say four. So there's no tiebreaker. There's no tiebreaker or anything. I was gonna say four. Locking in three. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, we can. We can do three. All right. Second on our list, we have the last pick of the draft, Isaiah Thomas. Who has played for ten franchises? Wow, I know. I saw that. I was like, I knew he's been on a lot of teams, but ten. What they do to my boy, Isaiah Thomas? I believe he was top three in MVP voting. In was an all star. Seventeen all star. Yeah, almost had that lob dunk. Pretty sick. Yeah, I'd still put he him had a four good or five. Peak. His, fact, his really peak was peak. high. His peak, his peak was, was high. nice, and he took his team far too. The mm-hmm. thing about journeymen is, though, it's about the even playing. You got to play the law of averages with the journeymen. Yeah. I, I'm comfortable with five or four. Wow. Is he worse than Trevor Ariza? I don't think <laughs> yeah. No, I but I, I just feel so. like, but Trevor again, Ariza I. Was solid his whole but career. yeah, but yeah. like, I think their peaks, Isaiah Thomas' peak was better than Trevor Ariza's peak. Dude, I remember. Do you guys, him this, being... is, this is the entire career. This I is... get that, but like, the peak is just so clearly mm-hmm. different. Between those two, I'll leave it up to y'all. Like, However, I was you a, judge he was it. MVP finalist. That's what I'm saying. We're gonna put an MVP finalist below Trevor freaking Ariza. I was gonna put him too. Uh, that's what I was gonna do. But just, gooseneck. Well, it, we'll gooseneck. see how the list turns out. But I'm like, I'm thinking the list got messed up already, and I'm thinking like Trevor Ariza's nah. four, Isaiah Thomas is probably five. I don't want to. I don't want to mess it up more though. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. No, I mean, there's no tiebreaker. Two or two. You said two. We don't know who's in that. Lock in two. That's what you guys want to do. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah okay. Too. All right. Third player, NBA journeyman. We have Jeff Green, Uncle Jeff, Ooh, who's played for 11 franchises. Thank God you guys had some very good me. seasons. Championship with the Knicks, or not the Knicks. Nuggets. Oh my gosh, the Nuggets. <laughs> yeah, definitely not the Knicks. <laughs> Championship with the Nuggets, had a great run in his Boston years. Prominent young player. That, that player shot of him on the Rockets is. Yeah. Turns you to stone if you see that one come on TV. But yeah. Jeff Green. 
I believe he's I, active. I like, yeah, he's on the Rockets. Is he active? Is he like playing next year? I I, I'm not sure, but he might be waived. He might not. I mean, we'll see. I think he's, I think he's still on the team. Yeah. As of now, for sure. We're on the heart of free agency. I don't know. I'm a big Uncle Jeff fan, but I think four. Um. So we have three and two right now, right? Yeah. He's definitely not one. So yeah. it's going to have to be four. It's fine with me. That's what I was going to say, too. Yeah. Four. I think I'll go okay. four. Lock in four. All right. Number four. Little bit of a deep cut. Not really. Is DJ Augustine, who's played for 11 NBA franchises. Five. Chicago Bye. Bulls legend. Yes. He was, bro, he was like one of my favorite players on the Bulls. I don't even remember him from the <laughs> DJ Bulls. DJ Augustine. Oh, yeah, wait. Didn't he play around like D Rose era? Yes. Yeah. Didn't he pl- did yes. he play with D Rose, actually? I think no, he did, didn't he? It might have been the years he was hurt. Yeah. Okay. That's why he. I remember. Was I in. do remember him on the Bulls, actually. I usually think of his time on the Pacers and, then, yeah. and the Magic. Yep. He was nice on the Magic. I guess mm-hmm. I remember him a little bit on the Thunder. He's in Detroit, era. too. Yeah. I believe. All right, number five for DJ Augustine, which is <laughs> number one up. open. So number one. Probably should have been IT. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. what I was thinking. Because all, bro, I literally said last time <laughs> in our last one, don't leave number one open. The number, <laughs> number one. But in fact, you're in journeyman. The best NBA journeyman of all time, which depending on how you define journeyman, it could technically work. But you gave us a definition at the beginning. <laughs> is Ish Smith. Who's played for the most teams in NBA history? 14? 13? 13. 13. 13 different franchises. Wow. So your list is as follows. At number five, you have DJ Augustine. At number four, you have Jeff Green. At number three, you have Trevor Ariza. At number two, Isaiah Thomas. And at number one, Ish Smith. I give that one a... C plus, bro, bro. Honestly, other than one and two, I feel like we cooked. That's what I think. Too, I think yeah. so. Mm-hmm. I don't think DJ. I think DJ, DJ Augustine was definitely fifth. Mm-hmm. Depending on who you talk to, Ariza and Jeff Green could be swapped. Personally, I'm just bigger on Ariza than two and one. Obviously, I, I would better than Ish. I'd yeah. probably if I were making this list, I'd probably put Ish Smith five, Augustine four, Green three, Ariza two, It one. That's my opinion, though. You guys were close. You guys did pretty good on that Probably. one. Yeah, that wasn't a complete failure. Yeah, that sure. one was a lot better than the first one because y'all yeah. weren't expecting the mid threes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that one. That one. Was <laughs> yeah, we were expecting. Yeah, we weren't expecting mid threes. We we're expecting big threes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, big threes. How you define it? You know, Knicks fans were calling Courtney Lee a, a part of a big three at one point. So, I'm gonna see if Miles, Daniel, and Victor can guess the top ten best foreign born players in NBA history. According to Ranker, Daniel, start. This is just like like said, stat based, like <laughs> just like best overall at yeah. Basketball. You said history. Okay. Yes, top ten best foreign born players in NBA history, according to Ranker. Just go, Nikola Jokic. Nikola Jokic is number four on the list. Okay, I'll, I'll go with. Oh wait, are we going yeah. first? My bad. Um, Dirk Nowitzki. Dirk Nowitzki is number three Nowitzki. on the list. <laughs> um, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Um, give so me, ways. give me Tony Kukoc. Tony Kukoc is not on the list. I'm really surprised you went. That to was Kukoc. actually a waste of a pick. <laughs> that was, bro. There's so I thought many, for some there's reason, so many ways you could have went. The Bulls bias would have worked. <laughs> no, <laughs> damn, I wasted that. All pick. right, <laughs> go ahead. Manu, Manu is number nine on the list. Okay. Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic is number five on the list. That's pretty high. Give me Giannis. Giannis is number one on the list. Wow. Yeah. Number one. The Should have said group. that one first. I'm mad at that, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm not either. But, like, number one. Back to you. We're doing well so far. Oh, yeah. I want, I want to say someone good, too. So. Oh, yeah. It's top ten. I'd hope you say something. Yao good. Ming. Yao Ming is number ten. Yeah, that's, that's who, damn. That's who I was gonna say. Really, I feel like he would have got completely overlooked. No, that's no, uh, that I, I was mean, my like, next pick. Yeah, he he's a very famous foreign player. <laughs> no, that's my favorite phrase. <laughs> <laughs> <It's true. cap. laughs> what are we true. missing? We're missing eight, seven, six, and two. Okay, I think I know two. Two could two could probably be the most likely guess. I can't even think. Of two. The the only one person I'm thinking of right now is Vlade Divac. 
<laughs> that's your guess? <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> is that worse than Tony Kukoc? I think it is. Nah. I think that's worse than Tony Kukoc. <laughs> Body I'm, Divac. They're both pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know say. why. I can't think of anything right now. Give me a uh, Hakeem Olajuwon. Hakeem Olajuwon is number yeah. two. So we have what six, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, how many are current? And we got all. That's what I was thinking. One of them's current. Okay, I think I know it. And we haven't guessed it yet. Nope. No, sir. Mm, does he have the? Does he? Do I don't think. I don't think he would be on, or at least what I'm thinking of, uh, Rudy Gobert. Nope, not Rudy yeah. Gobert. I think that's worse. <laughs> yeah, that was I, I just like I was I don't like think defensive. Rudy Gobert is worse. No, Rudy Gobert is like what a four time. Yeah, yeah like it, I was gonna say the defensive the like titles is, ever. The defensive titles puts him a little bit over. All right, but Victor, guess to you, dude. I don't even have one in mind. I'm drawing the unicorn, blanks. The unicorn. No, I know, but just something to. You know. it's, it's not KP, <laughs> dude. I can't even think of one. You could forego your guess and give me two. But yeah, because that's how it works. <laughs> you can try. That's when we're out of time, too. Straight. No. <laughs> you just go ahead. I can't think of one right now. All right, we'll go back. We'll go back to you. Uh, give me Joel Embiid for Joel the current Embiid player. Is number six. Mm. I didn't count him because he's on Team USA. Four and born. Oh uh, yeah, that's a tough one though. Yeah, hey, I'll give you that. That was a that that that's a that's a deep. Well, that means right Kyrie there. isn't on the list because he's Kyrie's not on the list. Yeah, because there's only. Legends. So we got two more. We have seven and eight left. And, and they're not current anymore, right? Nope. Yeah. We're retired. Mm. This is where Daniel's going to have some tough time. <laughs> Just, Just like Shaq. This is, where, <laughs> this is where reels are made right here. Yeah. Uh, Pass that back to me, bro. Throw me another lob. I got him. Oh, is it me? I thought it yeah, was Victor. It's you. Oh, I thought it was you. Yeah, because no, he said he was going to go I back to you. Like Jesus. All right. Um, or, unless I have a guess before you. I'm drawing a blank. Tweaking, bro. Kevin, how can I forget my boy like this? Oh. Who's your boy? Larry Bird? I'm just kidding. Peja Stoyakovich? Not Peja. Guess to you. Tony Parker? Not Tony Parker. What? Oh, that's that. You Manu's know, I was on thinking. It, but not Tony Parker? Hey, bro. Manu. 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 Manu invented a move, bro. Uh, but the, over Tony Parker? Yeah. I'm mad at that. I'm really not. I'm kind of mad at that. Tony Parker was better. I don't know. Maybe it's just maybe he wasn't like. I don't know. I think was he was definitely born outside of the United States. Who? He's Tony Parker. Yeah, he's French. How the hell is he not? Okay, all right, that's fair. I might have to skip my turn. I'm kind of drawing a blank. <laughs> yeah, okay, Miles, if you got guesses, man, I can't even think. Of I mean, I'll start rattling off players. I feel like they should be bona fide it, Hall of Famers at this. Point. Both of them are Hall of Famers. Yeah, like, yeah. Um. Give me Dikembe Mutsambo. Not on the list. Um, are we casuals for not knowing these players? Mm. One of them's kind of tricky because it's not like, honestly, both of these guys, they don't have like foreign names. Like Peja Stojakovic. Like you'd hear yeah. the name and you wouldn't think about it. One of them's from Canada. Mm. Oh, Steve Nash. Steve Nash, Damn, yes. good, oh, good stuff. Yeah. Right Steve Nash at number seven. Number eight. Give you guys a great hint, but it would so give it away. Oh, okay. It was like a little hint because I want to get it. Little baby a hint. little hint? A little baby hint. It was like a baby hint. What era? Like what era did he play? He was born in the 80s. Born in the 80s. Drafted in the 80s. Prime in the 90s. Uh, Moses Malone? He was way before that, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Moses you're, you're totally right. I don't know why I tweaked. <laughs> no, you're totally right. I don't know why I tweaked. Walt Frazier. <laughs> I tweaked. Bro, play with Dr. J. <laughs> um, drafted in the 80s, prime in the 90s, huh? I don't think he's... No, there's no way he's not. He's a uh, born. Ooh, you'd be surprised. No. That's what I always do when in doubt. Google NBA teams. <laughs> Just like scout um why do i feel like i known for east or west east why do i feel like it's dennis rodman it's not (laughs) like he will he actually grew up somewhere else oh wait no 
I was gonna say Pau Gasol, but no, that's that doesn't match up. Pau Gasol is not on this list. Isn't that crazy? That, that is, is kind of crazy. That's crazy. crazy. That's a huge the deal accolades overlooked. he has. Yeah, bro. What? According to Ranker, Ranker, y'all need to chill. Um, is... are we stupid? I didn't not. I like knew this guy was foreign born. Completely forgot about it. And then once okay. I saw it, I was like, oh, he is. Are we gonna be born. like? You oh, said, you said no, Eastern bro. Conference. Yeah, Eastern Conference. A Nick. Oh, Pat Ewing. Pat Ewing, yeah. Yeah, bro. <laughs> he's wearing the jersey. Yeah, he's wearing my jersey. Do you know why That's I said like the hints for... I give you guys could give it away? Yeah. I completely I was going to say like the player that I'm thinking about, one of us is representing him right now. Yeah. I completely forgot Pat Ewing, bro. Yeah, Pat yeah. Ewing. Probably because you don't I'm got I'm wearing his jersey. That oh was going to be one of us. <laughs> no, nah, we're, ca- we're casuals for not getting that. I can't lie. But like, he's from the Bahamas, I think. Hey, man. I'm not, not many people think about Patrick Ewing being born in the Bahamas. True. Plus, that was so long ago, too. <laughs> I, Facts. I, I, that was not, before our time. We're not thinking of, like, we're not, like, looking at, like, foreign-born players in the past that much. We're talking about today, you know what I mean? I said history. The, the reason why but, I said you know, like, yeah, this. But, like, we're so used to the foreign, yeah, yeah. foreign players yeah. taking over now. Yeah, yeah, That's facts. what I'm trying to and say. Especially, like, how highly ranked yeah. some of them were. Like, Giannis was one. Luka was f- fifth. Five. Jokic was fourth. And Bede sixth. Giannis Break being one is just insane to me. My first, the first guess I was going to give was uh, Big Sabonis. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's who I was gonna say first, and I was like, "Wait, bro, there's only ten. Like, yeah, that that, 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 that would have been, like, been worse." Than, like, and bro, then I pulled out Tony and, Kukoc, but, and I was like, but bro. "Yao Ming ahead of Pau Gasol is crazy." Yeah, I yeah, think that's no, I that's, think that's that's messed up. Pau Gasol nice. should have at least made an honorable I mention. I cannot believe Tony somewhere. Parker didn't make it, bro. I can't believe that. I don't know. Tony Park. I mean, they're he's just as successful as Manu. Yeah, mm-hmm. but he's think, better. But I think Manu has some like overseas accomplishments too. Like oh, a silver, okay. gold medal. Yeah. Engineered a new move. Six man. One of the greatest, probably the greatest six man ever. True. Don't All got right. a finals MVP, though. <laughs> does Tony? Yeah. He does. You're, he does. You're right. Nah, screw it. Curry. <laughs> Curry didn't have one until two years ago. True. True. Iguodala right. has one. Finals MVP don't even matter. All right, everyone, thank you for tuning in to another episode of GMLB. Thank you all for 900 subscribers. If you're listening on audio, Make sure to rate the podcast five stars, whether that be on Apple Podcast or on Spotify. We appreciate you all being here. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content. And at 1,000 subs, we got the GMLB merch shop opening, so get ready. <laughs> I just made it public. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Peace.